What's up, YouTube? I'm finna, yeah, I jumped fresh today. Cause I ain't had to do nothing. Um, drop, drop two pallets. The, the last, if you watched the last video, 200 miles for $1,250. And it was two pallets. Um, dropped off the two pallets. I don't know if you can see them. Nope. Can't see them. Uh, they over there somewhere. But dropped off two pallets. I'm gonna record, I'm gonna vlog this week because I feel like this is going to be one of my best weeks of OTR yet. And I say that because it's Monday, we're at 12.50. I already booked a load for tomorrow, same broker, same pickup, same type of drop off. Uh, but the drop off tomorrow is same day is going from Irving, Texas to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. 451 miles for $1,500. Do the math. That's over $3 a mile. It's over $3 a mile. They showing love, boy. It's hard to get these brokers to show love. They showing love. So I'm going to keep rocking with them. Hopefully they'll keep rocking with me. Keep giving me loads. Uh, right now what I'm doing is looking for a backhaul from Louisiana back to Texas. Uh, as close to Dallas as I can get because if they get another load for me by Thursday or Friday... I want to be available, you know what I'm saying? Because tomorrow I pick up at 10 a.m., drop off at 7 p.m., so I won't be able to get a back call to get me back by Wednesday. But if I can find something early enough to pick up in the morning, the goal would be it's like six and a half hours to get from Louisiana, where I'm going to be at, to back to Dallas. So, I mean, if I could get a, a load at like six seven o'clock in the morning to pick up and then bring back to texas drop it off if they have another load for me on wednesday i could potentially go pick it up before um before the close time of the place so i, I just want to be ready because it's like i said this broker is showing a lot of love on these uh rates so i want to be ready as soon as they hit me up and say hey we got a load i want to be able to go get it you know what i mean so this week i'm aiming for Four to five thousand dollars this week. Four to five thousand dollars. Fingers crossed, and I'm just gonna vlog every day. Like I said, this one I already showed in the last video. If you want to see what I picked up in the last video uh, that I just dropped off today, go to the last video and watch that. But I'm calling it now. It's gonna be one of my best weeks in OTR since I started. So remember that. All right, y'all. So let me fill y'all in on a little story time. So I picked up the low. So we started this week. I said I was going to record this week because I felt like this was about to be one of the best weeks I've had in OTR, right? Y'all remember that? Well, it was the same video, this video. Uh, so Monday, ran a load uh, that I picked up Friday, dropped it off Monday for twelve fifty. Good start to the week. Tuesday, picked up a load being dropped off for 1500 same day. So I would have been at 2750 by Tuesday. <clears throat> it's Tuesday now. I got out here to do the drop. The store was closed. Baton Rouge was preparing for bad weather. It didn't make it this far. Um, and everything was closed. Like I tried to go get food and there was nothing open. All right. Well, the store was closed. People was there to help unload and install the stuff in the store, right? Remodel. <clears throat> so, nobody's there. We leave. The, uh, the broker tells me to leave. I check in with the broker, let her know. Nobody's here. Uh, store is closed. We leave. She calls me probably like 30 minutes later, 20, 30 minutes later. She's like, hey, they just came and opened the store. The installers are on their way back. Can you please turn around and go drop the stuff off? I said, okay, cool. Because at the point of them not being there, the new mission was to take the stuff back where I picked it up from. And they was going to pay me the same rate going back that they was paying me to drop it off. $3,000 total. 1500 one way, 1500 the other way. And I was already tripping because I was like, damn, I couldn't find no backhaul. Well, I'm glad I didn't. 
So <clears throat> I went back. Well, only one of the guys came back and he was like, I don't know where the electrician is. I can't get in touch with him. His phone is disconnected. Woo woo woo. Well, it ended up, ended up being a whole thing where we waited like an hour, hour and a half. They couldn't get no. I got a hotel for the night. Um, that was the bathroom fan. Rude. Um, anyways, where was I? <clears throat> so yeah, we waited like an hour, hour and a half. No electrician. Dude pulled up to my truck and was like, hey, I just got the call. It's a no-go on the electrician. It was a waste of time for us to come back. I said, all right, cool. Still getting paid 1500 here, 1500 to take it back. So that puts me at 4250 by Wednesday. 4250 by Wednesday. So cause I'm, I'll make it back tomorrow probably. I, I'm, I'm going to leave the room probably at like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, get my 10-hour reset. Leave, I think, at like 6. 10 6 20 and i should get back to dallas um to drop the stuff off probably about one or two as long as i get there before two before they close um and it's only two pallets so so i still got thursday and i booked a load from the same this the same broker booked a load for friday picking up in Irving, same same shipper Picking up going to San Antonio, which is 200, it's, I think I said 284 miles, paying $1,200. Do the math. So that's, if I don't run a load on Thursday, <laughs> that's what, $4,250 plus that, that puts me at $5,450 for the week. So far, my expenses are like $400 in fuel. Um, going back that way, I probably put, I probably end up spending like 150 to 200. So, <clears throat> and then going to San Antonio and back, I'll make that on one, on a one um, full tank, about $200. So yeah, all in all, one of my best weeks of OTR yet. And God was looking out for me because I had to pay my business insurance and my truck payment in the, in the, within the same week. That's $4,000 right there by itself. So God is good. And man, I'm that we're going to keep recording. This is this is, was just an update. Today is Tuesday. And we're at $4,250. let us see how much more we can get. So this is the place I've been picking up from. Same broker, same shipper. About to get loaded up, see what we got going to San Antonio. We got uh, a load 200 miles for $1,200. And that's gonna be the end of the week off at, from Monday to Sunday, seven days. That's gonna end the week at somebody calling while I'm recording. Um, that's going to end the week at 342, 50, 5450. 5450 for the week. I'll take it. Got a full truck load on this one. Full truck load. Alright, y'all. So, as y'all can see, I'm in the bed. Shit, I got me a room. So, the sum up of my best week of OTR Monday, we delivered. For twelve fifty, um, two hundred and something miles. Tuesday, delivered. Well, tried to deliver to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That one was, I believe, like four hundred and something miles. I think for fifteen hundred. Um, store was closed. There was a whole bunch of weird stuff going on so then boom brought it back dropped it off for another 1500 so that puts me at 4250 and then got a load um and this is from monday to sunday so it's seven days it's a full week dropped off a load monday um in 
San Antonio 200 and something miles again for $1,200. So that puts me at $54.50 for seven days. $54.50. Fuel was say $500. Um, I didn't add really, I didn't even add it up. So that put me at like $4,900. We'll say $4,900 for one week for seven days. And that's not a good week. And this is no dispatcher. This is one truck. My truck, just me, it's possible. If you're starting to do this, get you a, 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 a good, you have to stay cool with these brokers, try to build relationships, because um, you want to end up getting cool with brokers to where you can get in a position like I currently am right now with the broker that I've been running for, because they've been giving me loads three four loads a, a week that's been topping me over four thousand a week so and they they paying over three dollars a mile on every single load you're not gonna find that pretty much anywhere so keep hope alive get you a dispatcher if you're new to get st help you get started because the new authority dispatchers are going to be able to help you find the um, brokers who accept new authorities, uh, just get your feet wet, get into it, and then you know you can cancel your your dispatcher later on. Just do it your do it on your own. Um, the ideal would be find contracts, get contracts with warehouses or stores near you that you can run for local and make this same type of money local. That's my end goal. My end goal. Um, that's what position I want to put myself in. So hopefully that'll be coming soon, man. Look, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If y'all want more vlogs like this, let me know. I don't mind posting. I don't mind giving information. Drop in the comments if you have questions. I don't mind answering any questions. Any feedback is welcome. Subscribe, post notification bell, and make sure you hit that like button. Appreciate y'all.